Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to see how long, I wonder, could I have been silent at the beginning of the video before a lot of people were, thought like uh, something was wrong with their volume or thought the video was messed up. Oh, all right. Seven seconds. If you lasted seven seconds, then gra I was going to say congratulations. I can't even freaking talk again. But congratulations because in this video, it's probably going to be a real short one because I'm going to show you guys how to use formulas in tables in a really cool way. Um, you guys are probably going to fall in love with it. You're going to want to make out with your computer, but I wouldn't recommend it. So, in this example, open up Bucky's store. So, of course, here is my store and all of the sweet items that I'm selling. Documentary about pudding. I would highly recommend checking that out. Alright, so anyways, go ahead and click it and convert it to a table by going to this insert tab. Clicking table and alright. Actually, I just want to turn this part into the table. I'll leave that header right there. So hit OK and boom. Check it out. We now have a table. So of course the columns are this column is for the items I'm selling. This is how many I have in my inventory and this is the price of each item. So say that we wanted to add a new column. So to the right in D2 just go ahead and click on that cell even though it's outside of the table and write something like total value and hit enter and what Excel does is it automatically detects that okay you're trying to add a new column to this table so we don't have to go ahead and like uh, convert it back to a normal data data set and then convert it back to a table again Excel got our back so after this what I want you to do is go to the first cell the first empty row which is in D3 and we're gonna make a formula for total value so of course the total value of bread gloves is equal to the amount I have in inventory multiplied by the price of each individual bread gloves so of course the formula for that is pretty easy equal sign so after you hit this equal sign check this out click your left arrow and the active cell moves one to the left now as you can see it doesn't reference the cell itself so before when we were just working you know referencing cells like I taught you guys in the last tutorial it would show something like C3 but look what's hap happening in this formula bar it says at price alright that's interesting so let's go ahead and finish this formula multiply that and then on your keyboard again hit left two times and that's gonna move your active cell over to B3 but again it's not referencing B3 it's referencing quantity and stock so now hit enter and check it out holy schmoly look at that instead of taking our fill handle and having to fill in everything whenever you use formulas and tables this is what's happening Excel automatically detects that okay it's not about the cell this table actually means something it's a set of data so what you're doing whatever formula this is is you're taking this column and multiplying it by this column to get this value so you know what since this is a table and that's what you're trying to accomplish I'm just gonna go ahead and fill everything in for you I won't even you know make you exert the energy to click and drag with the fill handle so pretty stinking sweet now another cool thing about this is typically this is a small you know little store right now no one has a store that they only sell like 10 items except me so you're gonna have um, a spreadsheet with a huge size a huge number of rows so anytime you wanna change your formula up a little bit so for example for some reason let's say you wanted to add a quantity plus the price why you would ever want to do that I don't know but if you just add it right there change your formula once look what happens without having to drag without having to go through and say okay is this correct is, is this correct it dynamically changes your entire column to work exactly how you want it so pretty stinking sweet and that's what these little um symbols mean rather than just hard-coded addresses to cells so that's a real quick tutorial Thank you guys for watching, and uh, well, I'm actually going to go eat some ice cream because I'm kind of craving some, but I'll see you guys in the next video.